guys, Shane Storms with DroidModerX.com. Today I'm bringing you guys a very highly requested video. This is my updated video on CyanogenMod 10 for the Droid DNA. Lots has changed with CyanogenMod 10 for the DNA since I last covered it about three months ago. If you guys remember, back then CyanogenMod was just basically it was booting. Pretty much everything was broken. Uh, I think we had Wi-Fi only, or even at that time we may not have even had Wi-Fi or data, definitely no camera. Uh, a lot has changed. We now have working data, we have working Wi-Fi, we even have working audio. In the previous build, uh, we weren't able to hear notifications when they came in or if the phone rang, you couldn't hear it. If you answered the phone, you couldn't hear someone talking to you because there was no audio. That has been fixed. FlyHalf205 is the developer behind the build that we're covering today. He's really made leaps and bounds with CyanogenMod 10 on the Droid DNA, but it's still unofficial. It's still very much a work in progress. There are still a few bugs. Um, in this ROM, there is no camera application at all because it's not functioning yet. The Torch application doesn't work. Uh, he just got Bluetooth working, so that's cool. We have audio, data, and Bluetooth. Um, I cannot personally get the hotspot to work, but I'm sure that's something that's coming pretty quickly. Uh, one thing that I noticed in running this for the past couple of days is that it does tend to get a little hot and I've noticed that my battery depletes pretty quickly. Uh, of course I'm used to using a Galaxy Note 2 which has an incredibly enormous battery so that might have something to do with it. But anyhow we'll go ahead and get into the ROM itself. We'll head into the app drawer and settings and we'll go into about phone. Of course, we're running Android 4.2.2. That's the latest version of Android. CyanogenMod version is 10.1 from April 25th. If we go back into settings, you'll see that the CyanogenMod 10 modifications are working here. We've got our Trey Boucher launcher. And this is working. We go into the transition effect and add one there. And I just wanted to show you how smoothly the ROM actually runs. Now this is by no means a daily driver, but you really could get by on it if you wanted to run CyanogenMod 10 and you wanted the modifications on your device. You really could get by on it. In fact, I've been running it for the past several days and it's been fine. You know, you can receive calls, you can text message, you can surf the web, you can get on YouTube. I mean, you can do basically everything besides take pictures, which on the DNA kind of stinks because it has one of the best cameras uh, in the mobile industry right now, but that's something that will be fixed in the near future, I'm pretty sure. So we'll go back into settings and check out the lock screen settings. Uh, all the lock screen settings from CyanogenMod 10 are present here. You can change the widget settings. You can change the slider shortcuts. You can change button actions. Themes. You can change your themes. Sign any CyanogenMod 10 theme or AOKP theme from the market will work here. On the system, you can change your status bar, show clock or not show clock. As you guys can see, all of this works. Uh, everything is working perfectly fine here. Battery style, there's a few to choose from. And as you can see, all that's working. Brightness control is working. Quick settings panel, uh, you have your quick pull down, auto close panel, you can choose your tiles and layout, you can add tiles here, like so, and then there's a few other settings there. You have expanded desktop options here, power menu, clock widget, notification lights so that you can change. The color of the light, depending on notifications, you can set different notification lights for different applications such as Gmail, Twitter, uh, whatever. Whenever those notifications come in, you'll get a different LED light. And then you have some hardware key modifications. So as you can see, this is pretty functional here and it is pretty fast. Like I said, it's not, it's not quite a daily driver, but you can get by on this ROM for sure. So you can install this whether you're S on or S off. If you're S on, you'll install it like normal through a Clockwork Mod Recovery or Twerp and then once you're finished with that, you'll need to flash the boot image in ADB. You can extract that from the ROM zip and flash that in uh, ADB on your computer. 
If you're S off, it's included in the ROM and you can just flash the ROM like normal. So that's what we'll go ahead and do now. We'll reboot the device. Okay, when we reboot, we'll go ahead and hold down the volume button. Okay, so from the bootloader, we'll go down to recovery and select that with the power button. That should boot us into Team Win Recovery Project. Once we're there, if we have S off, it'll be very easy to install. We just need to wipe. Factory reset, swipe to wipe. Cache, swipe to wipe. Dalvik cache, swipe to wipe. Then we'll go back and install the ROM. We're looking for the signage in my 10 unofficial build. We'll go ahead and make sure that that's what we're flashing, swipe to flash. When that's finished, we'll go back and swipe. We'll go back and install the G apps and swipe to flash. When that's all finished, we'll just reboot the system. Okay, guys, that has been Signage Mod 10, the latest build for the Droid DNA. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like button. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on this device, and I'm getting other devices soon, so you want to be sure that you are subscribed for that. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com, where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.